Hello and welcome. This video is about the F-Port protocol. F-Port is the combination of the serial bus protocols S-Bus and S-Port. While it was previously required to connect two cables and use up two URTs, we only need one cable and one URT now. Why did it take you so long? Thanks in any case for FRSky and Betaflight for this achievement. It's important to know, for F-Port we need a firmware upgrade of the receiver. And in beta flight version below 3.3 the option for FR Sky F port is unavailable. So we need a firmware upgrade for both the flight controller and the receiver. In the video we go through both processes. Let's start with the hardware setup. F3 and F7 users can skip this step. This only affects F4 users because the F3 and the F7 can handle inverted signal. There are several options. Depending on which option we choose, we will configure beta flight accordingly. Either we take the inverted S-Port signal from the standard output, for example from the plug, or we use the uninverted signal. In case of the RXSR, this signal comes from the soldering bed marked P. We now connect the single F-Port cable with a free UART. Details are shown in a video now on the top right. The second option works fine for the RXSR and F4 flame rays, where we use the uninverted signal from the soldering bed P and connect it to UART 3. We now continue with the software. Let's go to the FRSky homepage, the link is in the description. If you search for F-Port, we will easily find out for which receivers there already is a F-Port firmware version available. It should work with any X model from FRSky. The RXSR, XSR flight controllers, XSRM, XSR, X4R and X4R SB. Please take care, in some cases the firmware is still a beta version. So use at own risk. We have an RXSR here, there is already an official release of the F-Port firmware. Download the F-Port protocol firmware, not the normal firmware. Please take in mind with the F-Port firmware S-Bus and S-Port do not work anymore, only F-Port. The redundancy function however stays unaffected. Download and save. How a firmware upgrade is done is shown in a video now on the top right. For now we go through the process in fast forward. Extract the firmware.zip and copy the .frcar file to the SD card of the remote controller. FCC for an international version, LBT for the EU version, depending on which firmware you have on your transmitter. Connect the FRSky receiver to the FRSky Tyrannis and start flashing. That's it for the RX, of course you can reflash with the SBUS S port firmware if necessary. In the next step we need a beta flight version on the flight controller that supports F port. At the time of the video the current version is beta flight 3.3 release candidate. Details on the firmware flashing and configuration of beta flight can be found here. The card is now in the upper right corner. We go through the process in fast forward. Plug in the flight controller, flash the firmware in the firmware flasher tab, done. In the ports tab we select a UART to which we have connected our F-Port cable from the receiver. Let's go to the config tab and select receiver serial RX and FRSky F-Port as the protocol. The option is only available above version 3.2.5. Unfortunately that's not all. We still need to hack a few more comments into the CLI or better copy and paste them from the description. I have F4 flame rays in use, other than F4 and F7 it cannot handle inverted signal. Therefore, depending on the method of the hardware wiring, we either have to invert via the software or activate half duplex. If we use the inverted signal cable from the standard output, we set half duplex off and inversion on. Or if we use the uninverted signal cable from the soldering bed P, formerly S port, then we set half duplex on and disable the software inversion. If you have a F3 or F7, you do not need to worry about inversion. It can be both set to on. The CLI commands can be found in the description. Do not forget to save the settings with save. A note: the telemetry data must be rediscovered in the FR Sky Tyrannis. That's it. We now have successfully set up the F port protocol. I'm thankful for a thumbs up and especially I'm happy if you subscribe to the channel. 